Hello, Leos. Oh my gosh, I'm beyond inspired right now. Um, just learning a little bit of Latin with my sponsor. Um, just how the word lunacy in Latin, luna, means moon. And um, like how you howl at the moon. How? And how we get a little like energizer bunny during new moons and the energy shifts like is related to Luna, meaning moon, lunacy, like lunatic, you know, it's just so interesting. Um, also, like if anyone has been through any sort of like conflict and is having like a resentment towards someone, there's like a beautiful like way you can you can just grab a journal and go. I am angry with blankety blank because and then you can write why and then you can write next what's my part and your part could be um, because under anger there's fear it could be fear of being alone even if like someone doesn't do something right and say you're living with them and like you have this fear of being alone so you get angry instead but it's like this underlying fear or fear of abandonment etc and then um three and then you can go on um, like when you learn like oh it's not your fault like if you've ever been abandoned have abandonment issues it's not your fault you learn that when you were a child you learn that even when you were a baby like how like the feeling of being abandoned you learned how to have that fear was created when you were young if you're an alcoholic it's like it's a disease same as um like diabetes, like it's something like people say that like alcoholics are weak because they keep returning back. No, it's not your fault, you know? So I just love that. Um, it's like a disease of the mind. And then also like the fourth thing you can write down is like, yes, I got angry. Yes, I was afraid, but none of this is my fault. And then you can also, you can go um, like God, um, or I am going to, re I release this anger and fear. God, please release this anger from me and show me what I should do next, which I just love that. So I've had like conflict with someone today and, um, I'm going to journal those steps next. So I'm just thankful I have such an incredibly smart sponsor. Okay. <laughs> like I just love it. <laughs> okay. So perfect. We back out here. Alma, Grandma Rose, Grandma Dorothy, show us the cards we need to see for Leo and their person. Roles can be reversed. If you're a divine masculine watching this, you can think about your roles being reversed. And just take what you like and leave the rest. So we got strength out here. And we got this stallion. Uh, Megan Lee Stallion. <laughs> I just, I sorry. I'm gonna do a quick dance move, okay? Just really quick. Um, just very quick. <laughs> Real high girl shit. You helping my bag, but I mean he is too. <laughs> and that's why every time you see me, I got some new shoes. Hey, look, bitch, I'm a star, got these niggas wishing. He say he hungry, this pussy the kitchen. Yeah, that's my doubt, he gon' sit down and listen. Call him a trick and he don't get a holler. Bitch, okay, there we go. <laughs> I just needed to get that out of my system <laughs> once I saw the stallion. Okay, so we got that. We got strength. Keep up the strength in this situation. When So also another thing that I was talking with my sponsor about is that there can be like a spirit in your house, which I definitely feel like I have that, and it's Jesus Christ. Um, but my sponsor calls it his muse. And I always thought that like my spouse, well, my spouse, future spouse is my muse, but also the muse lives inside. It's the spirit living in my house that gives me the creativity that I become a vessel for that muse to work through. And like, that's what I'm experiencing right now. I feel so inspired. So we have this beautiful, um, same matching my nails, like peachy pink sparkly dress with her shawl. And he's just holding her. And I just can't wait for that moment with my divine masculine. So Leo's, you may be feeling the same way. We got the seven of cups in the upright. So for Leo, 
if you're rising sun, moon, um, or Venus or Midhaven is in Leo, um, you may have thinking about all the things that you want to do to your divine feminine, or you may have all these responsibilities. Um, you may have like someone that has passed away or is passing away you may have like thinking about like the royal life you could have you may have a snake trying to get in the way you may but like all of this is okay because there are all these are also all the things you want to do to her and see how he's kissing her fine cheek Mwah. so beautiful okay so let's clarify the seven of cups um what does the seven of cups mean grandma rose grandma dorothy up oh, this means working together with someone um like working together to figure out all problems like problem solving going towards success like this is the three of wands this is like figuring ish out and making taking action here's the knight of pentacles is taking action what else does the seven of cups mean holy spirit holy spirit grandma rose muse <laughs> muse shot out too okay we have a king we have financially stable king and we have an abundant queen Boop. so i love how this king is more in his lovey-dovey even if she's in her like you know pinnacle mode maybe she's focusing on her st stability and financial we've got a king that's focused on the love that he feels for her drive your gray car over here and then we also got just an inspiring queen um yay so what the empress is is an a culmination of all the queens and what an emperor is is the culmination of all of the kings so now we really got all the queens so basically what's that saying is i'm an empress and so are y'all leos and here we've got a divine masculine thinking about that perhaps um those initials there and then um this is like intuition this is like secrets um, this is like ritual. This is the high priestess. I love the high priestess. One of my favorite cards in the deck. I, I love going into my high priestess mode, like uncracking the mysteries, the secrets with psychic abilities. And that's all from the muse of like Christ. So I hope you Leos are amazing and have the best evening. Mwah.